It's bullshit. I come into this job, I bust my ass every day. I've been working here for four years now. And just when I think, just when I fucking think they're about to start appreciating all my hard work, <laughs> Shane starts working here. Shane's only been working here for four months now. And already this son of a bitch has been employee of the month. Three fucking months in a row. It's bullshit. I walked past my boss the other day. He nudges me with his elbow and says, I don't know what that boy's putting in his coffee, but I sure hope he keeps it coming. <laughs> I'll tell you what he's putting in his coffee. You dumb son of a bitch. It's called fucking meth. That guy's a full-blown, thoroughbred, fresh out of Kentucky meth head. He says, oh, no, that can't be the issue because I gave him a drug test when he first started here. Yeah, dumbass. And didn't you find it just a little bit suspicious that he took his old lady in the bathroom with him when he had to take his drug test? He says, yeah, he told me he had a shaking disorder and he couldn't hold his pecker still. I didn't want some bitch go in there and pee all over the walls. Yeah, he's got a shaking disorder, all right. Some bitch is tweaking his ass off, that's why. Then my boss looks at me and says, well, you're the one with the missing tooth. How do I know you're not on meth? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you why. Because for one, I love fucking food. And for two, I love sleep. There's no way I could be a meth head. I just couldn't do it. He says, stop being so negative. Maybe you should pay more attention to Shane. You might might learn a couple things. <laughs> yeah, I'll learn a couple things, all right. I'll tell you what I'll learn from Shane. All this fucking skin on my face, it doesn't belong here. And I should just fucking pick it all off. I'll learn how to go nine days straight with no sleep and no food, and still have enough energy to go on the other side of town and steal somebody's grill off their porch and carry that motherfucker all the way back to my apartment. I'll learn how to break in somebody's garage and cut their Cadillac converter off their 93 Oldsmobile and do it in under 30 seconds. That's the type of shit I'ma learn. Everybody thinks their, their job's threatened by Mexicans. It ain't the Mexicans you gotta worry about, buddy. It's the fucking tweakers. One good tweaker, just one tweaker is like the equivalent of six Mexicans. That motherfucker will show up at work and work harder than anybody else there. And then sneak out to the parking lot, break into your car, steal everything they can fit in their pockets, and then ask you for a ride at the end of the day. And then when you get in your car and you realize all your shit's missing, then fucking sketch you some bitches to help you look for the shit they stole from you. It's bad, guys. There's fucking tweakers everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. It's raining tweakers out here. And you know what else? Shane ain't been to work the last couple of days. It's funny. So, if any of you guys see Shane, you be sure to tell that motherfucker that I said, I know he stole my Dale Earnhardt jacket, and I know he stole my pictures of Shania Twain out of my fucking locker, and I want them back. And you know what else? You tell that bitch I said that the government has a tap on his cell phone, and the FBI has been following him and watching him for the last two weeks, and I watched that TV show Breaking Bad, and it fucking sucked.